Ah, uh, pizza delivery for robbery, homicide. Martin Lawrence is an American stand-up comedian, actor, producer, talk show host, writer, and former Golden Gloves boxer. He has accumulated his net worth through many acting roles in film and television, as well as his own television series, Martin, and his many stand-up comedy routines. His full name is Martin Fitzgerald Lawrence. As of this production, he's 54 years old, and he was born on April 16, 1965, in Frankfurt, West Germany. Martin Lawrence was born in Frankfurt, Germany to American parents. His father, John Lawrence, was serving in the US military at the time. Lawrence was named after Martin Luther King Jr. and John F. Kennedy. When he was seven, his father left the military and moved his family back to the US, where his dad became a police officer. The Lawrences settled in Landover, Maryland, in the greater Washington DC metropolitan area. His parents divorced in 1973. After that, he rarely saw his father. His mother, Clora, worked several jobs to support her family. Lawrence attended Eleanor Roosevelt High School and Friendly High School. He excelled at boxing as a teenager and was a mid-Atlantic Golden Gloves boxing contender in high school. The jab, and you got the right hand, and then you got the hook. Lawrence did the stand-up circuit in the Washington DC area in the early days. At the same time, he was supporting himself with odd jobs. Comedian Rich Snyder caught Lawrence's act on a night and suggested he give the New York City comedy scene a try. Lawrence then moved to New York City and ended up in the legendary comedy showcase, The Improv. Not long after performing at The Improv, Lawrence appeared on the Talent Search television program, Star Search. He made it to the final round but didn't win. However, executives at Columbia Pictures Television saw Lawrence on the show and cast him in his first acting role as Maurice Warfield in What's Happening Now. When that show was cancelled, Lawrence found small parts in films and television series. His breakthrough role was as C in Spike Lee's seminal film, Do the Right Thing. After that, he appeared in the Party House films, the Eddie Murphy movie, Boomerang, and Talking Dirty After Dark. He was tapped by Russell Simmons to host the series of Death Comedy Jam on HBO in 1992. This series gave many comedians their mainstream break, including Dave Chappelle, Chris Tucker, and Bernie Mac. While he was hosting Deaf Comedy Jam, Lawrence was also starring in his own sitcom on Fox called Martin. The show was a huge hit and ran from 1992 to 1997. His show was the anchor of Fox's Thursday night lineup and really helped Fox catch up to the big three networks to become a major player. On February 19, 1994, Lawrence hosted Saturday Night Live. During his monologue, he made crude remarks about women's personal hygiene and genitalia. His monologue was completely edited out of returns of the episode and he was banned for life from SNL. When Martin went off the air in 1997, Lawrence established a career in comedy films starring as the second lead opposite actors including Eddie Murphy, Danny DeVito and Tim Robbins. He starred in Nothing To Lose, Life, Blue Streak and Big Mama's House. Got my keys. One of Lawrence's most well-known films is the Bad Boys franchise, which he stars in with Will Smith as two detectives in the Miami Police Department, Michael Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett. The first film was released in 1995, the second in 2003, and the third in 2020. Lawrence is also a singer and musician. His debut album, Martin Lawrence Live Talking Shh, was released in 1993. In 1995, he released his second album, Funk It. Lawrence was engaged to actress Lark Voorhees in 1993, but they broke up before walking down the aisle. He married Miss Virginia USA, Patricia Southall, in 1995. Their daughter Jasmine Page was born on January 15, 1996. Lawrence and Southall divorced in 1997. He started a relationship with Shamika Gibbs in 1997. They have two daughters, Ayana Faith, born in 2000, and Amana Trinity, born in 2002. They married on July 10, 2010. Lawrence filed for divorce from Gibbs in April 2012. She appeared on the reality TV show Hollywood Exes, where she discussed her divorce but remained positive about her relationship with Lawrence. Lawrence has been plagued by difficulties in his personal life. The first sign of something wrong was in 1995 during a film A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Lawrence reportedly flew into a violent rage and had to be hospitalized after collapsing. Lawrence continued to occasionally demonstrate erratic behavior. In January 1997, Lawrence's co-star, Tisha Campbell Martin, filed a lawsuit against him alleging sexual harassment and abuse, both on and off the set of Martin. In April 1997, Campbell settled the lawsuit and returned to appear in the last two episodes of the series. 
Also in the spring of 1997, Lawrence was arrested after punching a man in a nightclub in Hollywood. Then, in August 1999, Lawrence went jogging in a 100 degree heat wearing heavy clothing and a plastic suit while prepping for Big Mama's house. He collapsed from heat exhaustion and was in a coma for three days. He almost died as his body temperature hit 107 degrees. His breathing was assisted by a ventilator while he was in a coma. Lawrence brought home $6 million for 1997's Nothing To Lose and $8.5 million for 1999's Life. He earned $20 million for 1999's Blue Streak. In 2001, he earned $13 million for What's The Worst That Could Happen. He made $16.5 million in 2001's Black Knight, $20 million on 2003's National Security and $20 million on 2003's Bad Boys 2. The 54-year-old actor earned $6 million for Bad Boys for Life, according to Variety. In recent years, he's appeared in movies like The Beach Bum and the short-lived 2014 FX sitcom Partners. He has an estimated net worth of $110 million. Will Smith was paid considerably more than Lawrence for Bad Boys for Life. Variety pegged his salary for the film at $17 million, making him one of the highest paid movie stars of 2019. Will Smith has a net worth of $350 million. For years, Lawrence owned a large mansion in the Beverly Park neighborhood of Beverly Hills. It is where he and Gibbs had their wedding. After their divorce, that house was available to rent at $200,000 a month in June 2012. In 2013, the estate hit the market for $26.5 million. He eventually sold it to Los Angeles real estate developer Bruce Mikowski for $17.2 million. Lawrence then brought a home in Encino, California for $6.63 million. He also owns a farm near Purcellville, Virginia. 